I tell the students all the time, if you put in the time, if you put in the effort, you're going to be successful here. We have these really, really talented faculty. We have folks who did startups. We have folks who had long experiences before even getting a PhD. These really experienced faculty who want to have that interpersonal relationship with students that's very meaningful, especially for our aligners. Do you want to do a master's project? I would love to do a master's project. If we think about the stuff that you've done before, mm -hmm. right, and stuff like park service and things like that, then like we could we could create a really nice master's project. Oh, we should definitely talk. I'll yeah. schedule some time. We have smaller class sizes. We have uh, faculty that are really, really dedicated to the learning experience of our students. I've loved it. The faculty have been amazing. Everybody's been super helpful and open and just excited to teach and to be here. You get a lot more individualized attention from professors, from advisors, from peers. The teaching model is a lot different than what I experienced in undergrad. It's a lot more hands-on. It's not lecture. I don't know if I've ever had a true lecture. Everything's been very interactive and hands-on and faculty interacting with students and students interacting with students. It's been a really immersive experience, and I think it's been a great way to learn. I'll introduce a problem, and then we'll discuss, sort of do an, an initial learning exercise to determine what do we already know about the problem, what kind of experiences do we already have. Uh, and then from there, I ask students to work together, pair up, and try to solve a problem, because that's what they're going to experience out there in the world. All right, let's code. This is a great code example where if you partner up, you can work together to figure out what are the things that you need to collect and put all your code in the right spot and make it work. A lot of what we try to arm them with is a full understanding of how do they apply all these concepts of computer science to solve problems. How are you setting up your logic? What, what is it that you want the program to do? So we got a framework in here. I cool. Kind of reproduced what you walked us through. So. We're just gonna try and do this as simple as we can yep. and work up. That sounds like a great, a great approach to making that happen. Yep. I'll let you write the code. All right, thank you. Our professor, his name is Scott Valcourt. He's a really great teacher because he's really patient with us and tries to make sure that everybody's on the same page. I'm really enjoying my experience here so far because it's very small. When there's like problems, you can just communicate. It's, it's a lot of work, but you know, you, you feel supported through that work and uh, that's what's meaningful.